What up guys, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and I got stuff to show you. I teased it in the last video that I had a bunch of Tomica Limited to share with you and we are going to look at those cars today. Um, I'm excited to get them out of the package. Full disclosure, I did sort of peek at them. I pulled them all out of the package and I logged them in my, my premium diecast spreadsheet because I'm a super nerd when it comes to trying to log this collection. Um, yeah, so anyway, my premium diecast is logged in a spreadsheet. Yada, yada, yada. You know, it just helps me feel like I'm on top of this massive collection, uh, which is getting a little out of hand. So, yeah. I guess it has been for a while. So I got those Tomica premiums to show you. I'm going to quickly run them down real quick. And I'll show you to in the package real quick in a second. But before I do that, I also got a box from Andrew Jeremko. Um, super nice dude. Okay, here's the deal. I said in my video where I had the huge haul from SC Diecast, which was last week, I did a separate video for that. And in that video, I got some Auto World cars. And also in that video, I said, please don't ask me to trade for any of these unless you really, really need them, blah, 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 scoot to do to do I hoard the stuff and it's hard for me to let them go and all that stuff. Well, Andrew needed four cars from that video. And, you know, Andrew is a really cool guy. If, uh, if you watch a lot of diecast YouTubers such as me, Travis, um, Diecastrum, um, he's traded and reached out to all of us and, um, he's just a really super cool dude. He's pretty generous with his, uh, boxes he sends. He made me an offer for those four cars that I could not refuse. And I just had to help him out, you know, and he helped me out too in the, at the same time. So he bought the cars from me and he, um, said, I'm going to send it with a box of goodies. And I'm like, dude, you do not need to send me a box of goodies. What you offered me is completely fair for this. And he just, you know, of course did it anyway. So it's a small box of goodies, it, but I, I did already open it. I already looked at all of it. So, um, you're not going to see the surprise there, but I will show it all to you today. And we will go through each one of the cars, you know, in the second segment of the video, I pulled them all out here. They're all loose cars. Uh, there's a Tomica Premium in here. That's a Lancia Stratus HF Rally. Um, there is a one of my favorite brands, this Ertl Vintage American Muscle, or Ertl American Muscle. I think this is a Chrysler, what is it, 300? Oh, 300C. Gave me, this came with a little card when it was in the package. Anyway, gave me that, which is super cool. I didn't have this one. I've got a... Uh, I have a version of this casting in black, but this one is in a red. And we'll take a close look at it in the second segment, of course. Um, he gave me this cool, super cool Majorette Ferrari F40, which is pretty awesome. I think I might have this. I'm going to have to check. Um, this one's in pretty good shape. I don't know what, what kind of shape mine is in. I don't really remember. I think I might have blister pulled mine actually, so it might be in perfect shape. So this might end up might end up getting paid forward. Oh, I do already have this launch as well, so this will probably end up getting paid forward as well to somebody local um, here. Um, uh, we're gonna have a diecast meet this month. I'm super excited for that. We're gonna do some social distancing. Everybody's encouraged to wear masks and all that stuff. Um, so we're keeping it as safe as possible. Uh, thankfully, just in case you guys are curious, and I'm sorry I'm like jumping subjects here, but um, the situation in my town, okay, my town has 70,000 people in it, roughly. Um, we do not have a lot of cases, okay? Not a lot at all. I've got some opinions about that as to why that is, and we don't need to get that into that now because this is not a... Uh, pandemic video but um you know anyway so we're pretty fortunate in my direct community not to have very many cases if you guys want to look it up go for it i live in appleton wisconsin um the only place you're going to find probably the actual data is if you go to the appleton city hall facebook page okay there you go you can look it up if you want to um, i shared it with my buddy hot customs today chen chatting with him on Instagram. And um, so yeah, we chatted about his situation over in Singapore and my situation here and they're vastly different. So interesting to, to know. Sorry about that. All right, so just had to ramble on. And the next thing we got is this. Uh, this is a little Nissan 350Z. 
I don't know who made this. It's RS. It looks to be in about 187 scale. Um, and in all honesty, I don't collect this scale. Uh, but my buddy, Crazy Todd, has a train set, like a massive thing, um, that he might be able to use this on that. So I may end up just giving this to him um, because it probably would suit him better than me, and that's okay. Uh, then he also hooked me up with this Blackwall P911. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, Hong Kong base. I don't know what year this one in particular came out. We'll take a close look at it. It's in play with condition, but it's a good uh, filler example for if I ever get uh, one in perfect condition. It's almost got like a martini livery going on with it. Um, he also gave me this, which was interesting. This is a um, super fast Matchbox 911 Turbo, and it is customized. I don't know. I'm guessing he did it. And it's actually pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. I like the little the colors he chose for it. I think they look pretty awesome. So we'll take a peek at that in the second segment. And then we also got this thing, which is pretty interesting. This is a Mercedes. I believe this is a Maisto. Yep. It is a Maisto. Is that a metal base on this Maisto? I think it is. So I don't know what series this came from, but this is kind of an interesting car. I don't have a lot of the more premium Maisto in the collection. So it's kind of cool to get one every once in a while. I've got a few of them. Um, so this Mercedes uh, S-Class, uh, we'll take a peek at that in the second segment as well. And then he gave me this guy, which is, this is actually really cool to get. Um, this is the Baja Breaker in like the A-Team sort of deco. It looks to be in pretty much perfect shape. It's got some dust up here that I could easily clean off, and I might do it before the second segment. Uh, just to show you how almost perfect this car looks. Now, this is awesome to have. I've got this van um, in my Real Riders collection. So I've got it with the 80s Real Riders wheels. But I did not have it with these. I think they're called construction tires. So I did not have it with these plastic tires. So it's cool to get that variation. So that was what was in the box besides the cash that he threw in there for those cars, which is just very very generous and very awesome i'm glad i was able to help you out i understand those cars can be tough to get sometimes and um how frustrating it can be to try to find them when you're looking on ebay and yeah i hoard them so you know it's hard for me to give them up but uh you know i'm glad to help you out andrew all right next is the tomica limited stuff and i'm just going to flash through these because we are going to look at all of them here coming up so this was a lot that I purchased on eBay. So someone was selling these 12 cars in a lot. There's a couple duplicates in it. So there was two Lamborghini Countaches, which is cool. Um, I actually already have one, but mine suffers from horrible paint rash. It's not that bad. Yeah, it really isn't that bad at all, but it's bad enough to where I was kind of keeping an eye on a replacement for this car. And uh, I ended up finding it in you know, this lot and two of them. I'm like, well, one of the two of these is going to look really good. So uh, we're going to pull these out of the package and take a nice close look at them. Um, and I think my buddy Crazy Todd is going to want the other one. We'll see. Um, I think he already has it, but he thinks he doesn't. I, I'm pretty sure he does, though. Uh, and then this Mini Cooper. Todd, you got to check and see if you got this, too, because if you don't have this one, um, then one of these will be yours. So that's pretty awesome. Um, this one, this Nissan Fairlady Z432, this is another one that I already have. So I know, Todd, I think you're interested in this. So we'll end up get, getting that to you. And then the rest of these are cars I didn't already have or anything like that. They're not duplicates. So we've got this one, this Toyota uh, Mark II-L hardtop. Probably hard to see it in the packaging. That's okay, because like I said, we're gonna get we're gonna get into it here coming up. This one's really interesting. This Honda Vamos. This is such a weird one. It's really cool though, out of the box. Um, I don't know if it says what scale this is in. I think it says it on the base of the car, so we'll find out that. Um, if you're not familiar with Tomica Limited, uh, Tomica Limited, this one's really cool. This is a Porsche 911 Turbo Type 930. If you're not familiar with Tomica Limited, okay really cool stuff what it basically is impreza wrx sti what it basically is 
is um, they're Tomica basic cars, but like souped up with real rider tires, not real rider tires, rubber tires, um, and just a more complex deco. But I think they're basically toolings that were released in their basic range, I think. And I'm not an expert on it, but it kind of predates your Tomica Limited Vintage. And I think this series basically got replaced um, by Tomica Limited Vintage and then split off into Tomica Premium, which are two different series. So there's some differences there. Maybe I'll grab a Tomica Premium car just to show you and maybe a Tomica Limited Vintage. Uh, maybe that's a whole nother video. But anyway, we're gonna look at these ones close up. So this one is a uh, Hasimi Sport Endless Z, so it's a Nissan 350Z. And this one's really cool. Toyota 2000 GT SCCA. That one's pretty neat too. The wheels are really awesome on that one. And then lastly, this Lancer Evo uh, 4, which is pretty cool as well. So yeah, maybe I'll do a Tomica rundown and kind of show you the differences between the series, but not in this video because we have too much to look at. All right, so that's going to be it for this half. Let's go ahead and flip it around. We're going to look at all these Tomica Limiteds up close. We're going to look at the stuff from Andrew up close. We'll start with the stuff from Andrew. We'll do it in the same order we just did it. Not that I need to repeat that, but uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into it, starting with this right here, this Majorette Ferrari F40. And the more I think about it, the more I think I do have it somewhere. But uh, I will have to double check. And if I don't, um, I might do something cool with this car. Who knows? It's an actual pretty solid casting. It's a little goofy because of the width of the tires. Um, and it's in 158 scale is what it appears. You know, it's really funny to think about how long it took die cast companies to figure out that It'd be really cool if you actually scaled everything to 164 scale. I suppose they weren't thinking about that when they were thinking about making toys, but you know, when you start getting into the collectibles now, having everything scaled accurately is really cool because then you get people into dioramas and all that stuff. It's just an interesting kind of thought. Um, so there's this guy, pretty cool. Here's this uh, Matchbox 911 with some custom graphics pretty interesting i love the color scheme of it i think it looks great with the, the red the yellow and the orange pretty much all hand it looks like he just hand painted the whole thing because it's not uh drilled apart at all and that is super challenging to do i definitely i'm terrible at hand painting it's probably because i've never had really quality brushes i think i'd probably be not too bad at it because i'm somewhat patient um but i've never been a great uh i guess manual artist um with that stuff so anyway you did a good job but all right and then we got this right here this is your Ertl vintage american muscle or Ertl american muscle 1957 chrysler 300c so why do i love these so much they didn't do a lot of cars but I just love the way they're constructed. Honestly, this is the closest you're ever going to get to a 118 scale car in 164 scale. And I say that because it has an opening trunk with a spare in there. It has an opening hood with an engine in there. That is detailed. It's got inserted details for headlights. It has inserted details for taillights. And it's got a separate piece for the bumper. This is kind of like an M2 with all the separate pieces and stuff. But in my opinion, done, you know, I think a little bit better. And I think these are also pretty close to actually being 164 scale. And then there's the base. The base is like a highlight of these. Normally, I wouldn't care about a base so much. Um, but if you know this brand, and if you're looking down here, you can see you can't see any screws holding the casting together or any rivets well that's because these separate little pieces are covering where those would be that fuel tank back there some of the uh, assemblage up here and this exhaust is actually a separate piece that wraps around this axle this is all separate little pieces Very, very cool. Maybe unnecessary to do the whole base of the car, but I just think these are fantastic. Even though they have a plastic base, 
they have rubber tires they usually roll pretty well and i think they're constructed pretty well as well they just didn't do too many castings there's not too many toolings out there so i think i'm getting close to almost having one of every one uh here's the p911 again in played with condition i don't really collect played with cars too much um but this Porsche might be an exception. It might be just a little placeholder until, you know, one day maybe I find one in mint condition. Um, although I will say vintage Hot Wheels now, as opposed to four years ago when I collect started collecting or five years ago, uh, maybe six years now, wow. Um, they're getting kind of tougher and tougher to find some really cool stuff in, in really good shape. So hang on to your oldies. Because those are getting kind of difficult. At least for me. Alright, here is like the 187 scale Nissan 350Z. I always thought it was amazing too when you see these like smaller cars and how well detailed they are. And then you compare them to some 164 scale stuff. And, you know, if you're able to get this much detail into a little car like this, you'd think it would be not that difficult to get one a little bit larger. And have it have really nice detail so this does have a plastic base it's riveted together it's done really well it's got uh, rubber tires it has um inserted detail for the headlamps which is great you know and i don't want to rag on green light too much but i mean come on green light doesn't even have inserted details for their headlights on their you know new generation z car it does have painted taillights which aren't great i wish those were lens but pretty cool and i'm probably not going to keep this anyway this is probably going to end up going to todd it's got one little crack in the windshield not a big deal it still looks pretty awesome and i like the nissan z stuff so pretty cool here is this guy i'm happy to have this i really am um, baja breaker this is one of those castings that i sort of loosely collect um I don't really actively pursue them too much, but when I do come across one that I don't have, and one of the reasons why I don't really actively pursue them is there's a lot of ugly ones out there that don't look great, that have some wacky graphics and stuff like that, but this one's a cool vintage piece, and uh, I do like it. I don't know what date this one exactly came out. It's some probably mid-80s. I don't think it was Blue Carter. I think this is still Blackwall era. Um... I know the real riders version was so somebody will let me know and i i failed to get that out to show you so i can't show you the both of them the real riders one's really cool there's a really rare real rider one that i don't have so i've got the one with gray hubs there's one with white hubs i don't have it that one's i think a very very expensive car you know someday maybe i'll have it who knows don't really need it but someday all right, so before we get into the Tomica Pro... Oh, we got one more. Hang on, before we do that. This guy right here, this Maisto. I don't know, this is kind of cool. Maisto is one of those weird brands that some of the stuff is kind of neat and some of it's not. It's got a lot of detail. I mean, it's got the little speakers in the back. It's all kind of pimped out. Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Surprised to see a metal base. I don't recall these things having metal bases. I don't know when this came out or what series it was in or anything about it, really. But, you know, you got pretty nice detail up front. You got pretty nice detail in the back, too. It's a nice color. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll be glad to add that to my Maisto collection. I'm keeping that one for sure. And then we got this. So this car, I already have it. i got to check with Todd to see if he has it or not. Because if Todd doesn't have it, that's definitely who this is going to. But this is a cool little Tomica Premium release. So the, the Tomica Premium stuff, uh, they're going to have plastic bases. They're going to have cool-looking wheels, but they are plastic. Um, they do have suspension, and they are completely, I believe, their own toolings. These toolings do not cross into the basic range. A lot of times they will often have um, uh, moving parts. This one does not. Um, like, for example, the Ferraris have flip up, pop up and down pop up up and down headlights and uh opening doors and stuff like that they'll have sometimes um, this one doesn't appear to have any moving parts and I, I already do have it so todd again let me know if you've got this one because if you don't um it's going your way otherwise it's coming to the local meet on the last saturday of this month and we'll see who needs it there all right so there's that uh, let's get right into the coontosh right away 
we got two of them to examine. I don't think I opened, I didn't open this one. I only opened one just to peek at it. So these are sealed, I guess. And all these cars, by the way, when I got them were sealed. The stickers were still intact. They have four little circular stickers. These don't appear to have ever been peeled up. I'm just cutting them because I'm not going to bother with trying to fake them being sealed up again. There's some scuffing on the packaging, but the, the inner box is like in perfect condition. So I don't know if you can see this very well, but you can see some paint rash here. That's what we call paint rash. Some people call it paint float. And it's kind of where the paint starts to... I Again, I've said talked about my theory on this before, and I thought it was something to do with the metal reacting with the paint. I think it's like a clear coat reacting with the paint, because I noticed on this one, it's got paint rash. But guess what? This wing... Wait, maybe it is. No, uh, never mind. I was going to say this wing is plastic, but it's not. It is metal. This whole thing's metal. So, never mind. Maybe it is something to do with the metal, or the metal, the zinc and metal, or whatever, reacting with the paint. Not really sure. One day the mystery shall be solved. But here we go. Lamborghini Countach LP500S. Super cool version of the Countach. One of the coolest versions of the Countach in anything close to 164 scale. This one appears to be pretty good. I don't really see any issues with the paint rashing too much. There's a little bit of flaw in there, but nothing major. These are in 161 scale. Close enough to 164 scale. Just a little bit larger than 164 scale, which is surprising because this car looks like it would be about the right size. Yeah, and it's awesome. Super cool. Uh, so these, this one in particular has painted details for the taillights. This has painted up front for headlights. Um, it's got some detail up there. It's got rubber tires and it's got suspension. The thing rolls really well as well. Um, I'm just going to put it kind of back in this package for now because the packaging is kind of interesting too. This is actually metal. This little nameplate, which I just screwed up. Here we go. So interesting packaging. I'm trying to get it back in there. Tomica Limited. There's a lot of Tomica Limited cars out there, but they're not super easy to find. Um, at least not uh, inexpensively. And I got this lot for a really good deal. Um, we probably don't need to look at this one, but we're gonna anyway. I'm just just to observe it for paint rashing. And this one looks pretty good, too. I already pulled this one out and looked at it, so I know it looks good. But I'm just showing you guys. Um, there's a weird little stickiness up here. But it looks like that'll wipe off. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, Todd, look in your collection. See if you got this or not. That's your assignment. Uh, same with his mini. I think we only really need to pull one of these out. But here's this Mini Cooper, number 48 in the Tomica Limited Collection. I don't know, can we see a year when these things came out? Uh, I don't see a date anywhere on this package. They changed the packaging up a couple times too, so... Yeah, I really don't know. But here's this one is, you can tell that this one's obviously a little bit bigger than 164 scale and it's 157 but again it's got rubber tires it rolls awesome it's got suspension it's got painted details but the painted details look really good and it's a pretty cool little car so not my favorite of the group that we're going to look at here but i still think they're pretty cool oh and they all come with this by the way too oh here's this will be a cool reference i think i'm going to keep these so, and I didn't know this, but they can't. This is the other version of a Countach that they have in Tomica Limited. I've never seen that one pop up. That's really cool. Oh, and here's another one a white one and a yellow one. And a Mira. Man, there's some cool cars out there. And I bet you they're tough to find. 
So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to see if we got any others in there. I'm going to start keeping that stuff as reference material. Let me see this one, if this one's any different. Uh, this one appears to be the same. But we'll just set that aside for now. All right. Uh, so another one of these. Should we peek at it real quick? Uh, let's not. Let's not even bother. I, don't, I know this one's probably not going to have paint rushing. It doesn't look like it through the package. And it's the same car we just looked at. So we can pass on that for now. Um, the next one let's peek at is... The Nissan Fair Lady Z. Again, I do already have one of these. I've shown it in a previous Diecast Weekly episode. No paint rashing at all. It's got some very. a lot of suspension travel. Opening doors on this model. Now, this one's definitely not the best Fair Lady Z that I've got in my collection, mainly because of how the headlights look not great where those pieces come together and they try to paint over them not exceptional but still a cool car to have and i know they've come up with a couple different colors of this one i've seen an orange one 160 is scale on this one tomica made in china uh but pretty cool so that one's going back in the package the rest of this stuff i don't have to put back in the package because this is all definitely entering the collection what should we start with first? I'm going to save this the Porsche 911, I think, for last, because that thing is just fantastic looking. Uh, number 76. Again, no date. This is the Honda Vamos. Vamos. Pretty interesting. I'm just going to put the packaging back together here while you peek at it. So look at that thing. That's weird, unique, and cool. Um might put this one out on a Lamley daily. I think that would be kind of an interesting one to do. Plus, I know one of my Lamley colleagues is a little bit jealous of it. Um, Alex, I know he wanted this. was looking for the, one of these cars. It's in 154 scale. This one's got a plastic base. A lot of these had metal bases. This one has plastic. Plastic top. You know, I think the seats are a separate piece. That's pretty interesting little Honda it's got suspension more in the back than it does in the front I don't want to push on that too hard it rolls so smoothly yeah that's a cool little car man I'm digging that all right that's really neat um, so we'll put that aside and then we'll go on to this one this is the Toyota mark II hardtop Set that one out. Put this back. Oh, come on, buddy. All right. Do that in a second. So this thing is really neat. Yeah, it looks very cool. I uh, I'm not really familiar with the car itself. I love the front end of it though. That looks pretty awesome. So paint details up front. Painted details in the back. Metal base on this one, 161 scale. Copyright date 1974. That's the copyright date for the tooling. So the tooling's been around for a long, long time. And like I said, most of these have been in the basic range for a long time. The paint on this one's gorgeous. Very, very smooth. Um, very, very nice metal flake green with kind of this like lime interior. I think this one looks fantastic. This is a really, that's a winner big time for me. I think that looks awesome. Set that one aside. And move on. I keep grabbing the Porsche. Move on to the next one. This is one that'll probably be a lot of people's fave. This is the Impreza WRX STI. Get this one out. The other interesting thing about this is it was a US seller. US seller, and it was an auction. So those, that combination of events um, does not come up often for these Tomica Limited cars. So this one's copyright date 2000. It's in 159 scale, made in China. Uh, Subaru Impreza. It's got suspension. It's got opening doors. 
so it's a newer casting but definitely a cool one painted details Ooh, lens details in the back it's an inserted detail in the back for the taillights that's a nice little touch back there so that's a pretty cool one and it comes with one of these little guys so let's see what's in here so this is going to be different Ooh, we got an arc seven oh, that's cool right there so two different colors for that car here's your Subaru fantastic man it just it makes me think I want the Tomica premium stuff at least to come to the US I think it would sell very well here the premium cars you know I know that Tomica limited vintage I think would be a tough one to get into stores because of the price point of them and stuff like that and can you imagine like you know kids at Walmart throwing those things around not very cool but these i think they could pull off you know something like this not their basic range the basic range is just the wrong move from tomica i'm sorry if anybody from tomica is watching which i doubt you are but if you are um yeah my advice to you would be to bring your tomica premium line to retail stores or at least start distributing them like hobby wise in the u.s and i think you'd be successful so here's the lancer evo white this tooling looks pretty good it's got suspension painted details inserted detail up front no opening doors or anything on this one uh, copyright date is 1997 on the tooling 159 scale number 104 so cool Let's take a peek inside of here. Oh, yeah, there's some cool stuff, man. 300ZX. Ooh, that's going to be on the must-have list. I bet you it's going to be tough to find. Same with that Z right there. And look at those guys. Very cool. I'm glad I'm getting all these little reference materials. I don't know where there is a reference material to find out what all was released. I'm sure Chen Hot Customs would probably help me out with that. Uh, but yeah, very, very awesome. That is super cool. That's a good complimentary pair, of course, to that guy right there. The rivals. All right. So there's that. What's next? Next, we got a couple of cars in race liveries, starting with the Toyota 2000 GT in red and white. This one does not have a uh, little thing in there. A little catalog. So this casting I know is a basic range casting. I have it in the basic range. Opening doors. It is in 159 scale. Copyright date 2002. I love the wheels on it. Goodyear Eagle tires with those very, very detailed wheels looks super awesome oh i think my kids are downstairs right now i got the door locked so i can be able to come in but yeah check that out inserted details this one's a winner that just looks awesome so super cool on that one we've got two more to look at the hasimi sport Endless Z. This one also did not come with any sort of little catalog in there. And let's start off with that. We got 2001 copyright date, 158 scale, number 55, made in China, Nissan Fair Lady Z, Tomica. We've got suspension. Lens detail for the headlights. Painted detail back there. This one has opening doors. Very, very, very cool. Thankfully, I have this little lavalier microphone here. So hopefully you don't hear too much of the background noise that's going on right now. But yeah, rolls really great. Doors shut great and all that. 
All right, and then the finale. The one that I was most excited about is this one right here. I'm a Porsche diecast collector. I love Porsche. Uh, this is the 911 Turbo Type 930. I just can't get enough of this Porsche shape. The Rosso Porsche 911 Turbo. And that is sweet. Now, I've got a version of the vintage Tomac ca uh, casting of, I believe, this car. So we're going to take a look at the copyright date. And I'm guessing it's an old tooling. Uh, it says copyright date 2003. So maybe I'm wrong. But I think this is a retooled version of it. It's got to be because this looks pretty much the same. It's got an overbar that says Tomica in China, which that used to say Japan. So I believe they just re-copyrighted the tooling. But I think it's actually the same as the real old one. I don't have it handy to show you, but it's got to be the same. It, like every little casting part of it looks identical. So the details in the back aren't like super fantastic, but they're pretty good. The wheels are awesome. It's got inserted detail for the headlights. And it has opening doors. It's a great color for the car, silver with blacked out rims and it just looks amazing so that's probably going to be my favorite car of the episode you guys let me know what you think of course the Countach is awesome but I already had it and um, this car is really cool too this Toyota I think it's fantastic this one has a plastic base by the way so some of these had metal bases some of these had plastic that car is really nice so there's a lot of cool stuff in the Tomica Limited line and I'm not going to super like go after them, go after them, because I know that they're not um, super easy to find at inexpensive prices. So a lot of times when you find these cars, um, they're going to be as expensive as a Tomica Limited Vintage. And at that point, you, know, you might as well buy a Tomica Limited Vintage because it's a little bit better in the quality department. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that's going to be it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Andrew very much for your kindness um i really do appreciate that and uh yeah thank you guys very much um you guys have an excellent week uh, i should have some really cool stuff coming i'm excited to share with you guys i got a box coming from dicastrum so who knows what's going to be in there but those never disappoint so uh those are going to be very very cool i've also got some stuff that i got from my buddy jeremy uh hunterberg who's local to me he, he hooked me up with some of the later latest hot wheels um i just didn't have i knew i wasn't gonna be able to fit them in this video so we'll show those probably next week um mo mostly some mainline stuff but it's nice to open that stuff up and kind of share my opinion of it i guess and uh yeah so stay tuned for that and uh thank you guys very much again have a great day